Looks like we have an ammonite right here. Oh yeah. Oh, and it's bro. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Right here's some more trace fossils. Look at this one and check out the detail. Oh man. Wow. That is so awesome. Welcome back to another adventure, miners, prospectors, and rock lovers. It's always good to see you all back at the channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like what you see and you decide to subscribe. So my last upload and a couple others, I thought I was discovering fossilized coral, but what that turns out, it's more like a trace fossil. It's from bugs and worms that made little tunnels and then somehow all that got fossilized. I'm not into fossils really. It's just something that I do along with quartz crystals and I go dig for gold when I'm not at the diamond mine, when it's the off season. Right now it's the off season. There's really no diggers at the diamond mine digging deep holes. It's over 150 degrees in a hole. When you get down five, six feet, it's just too hot. So digging season is coming. That usually starts off around the end of October so until then, we will be making more trips, hunting fossils, trying to get to Colorado to Bruby Mountain. That way I can gather Apache teardrops, the really small obsidians that are translucent and some are like gem quality when they come out, they're beautiful. So in this video, we're just gonna walk around and I'm going to show you those trace fossils. It's not fossilized coral like I thought. If you'd like to see more videos of me gathering fossils, don't forget to click the thumbs up. All right, I got the backpack. Now this is gonna be a quick trip. I just wanted to get out, mainly get out of the house, um, get my mind off things. This is the best medicine right here. <laughs> I am trying everything I can not to go see the doctor. I don't want to take medication whatsoever. And I'll do my best to stay out of there because that to me is even worse i understand some people have to they have to have medication from the from the industry from the system you know it's just all ties together so in the last upload i was going around gathering fossils like this this isn't apparently coral this is called a trace fossil new to me and it's really cool this is apparently made from like little bugs and things that lived on the ocean floor and would make little tunnels to live in it's like their house now this right here must be some type of fossil it may be a sponge i don't know what let me know in the comments what you experts think this is this is really neat i may want to save that real flat oh thought it had some crystals right there oh look at the other side wow this is really cool this would almost stand up huh wow near the hot spot we were over here that last video and we looked at this so i'm just wondering what is this you know is this a is this the coral is this a trace fossil a big giant bug made this or is this some type of fossilized plant stem you know i just don't really have a clue right here's some more trace fossils look at this one and check out the detail nice little tunnels that were made oh that's a good piece right there yeah that's a good one to save and here is the ammonite that's embedded in trace fossils this is not coral reef my mistake because i really don't know and like right here see is this some type of huge trace fossil it looks like it, it looks like this connected into here so this may be like a big housing area where they gathered and lived in because look how big this is this thing goes all the way and it opens up here and bigger this is an amazing piece to me We've got ammonites in it Got a big ammonite right there. Just one problem. I can't even budge it. It's like 400 pounds. Like a giant arrowhead. That'd be my second one to find. That definitely looks like a giant arrowhead. And look how big 
this trace fossil is this thing probably weighs 900 pounds or more but <laughs> that's awesome still no rain so the picking is really thin i've walked over these gravel bars three four times now so what i'm going to start doing is digging down into them there has to be some ammonites deep down in all this gravel look at this one this little trace fossil it's got some really good detail And like this here, you know, this piece to me, what is that from a trace fossil or is that some type of plant or is that a elbow? <laughs> Looks like an elbow. Like this one here. Oh, that's really cool. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Where my bacon is going to go right there. Probably put the pancakes over here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's birds sitting on a power line recharging. They must be watching every move I make. Wow, look at this one. This is probably the biggest trace fossil I've ever seen in my life. And look how just a big mound, it's like they piled up a big mound. Maybe this is the house. Maybe there's something in there, some type of creature fossilized. Kind of be neat to prep these down and see if you find some type of creature. All right, we're gonna leave the hot spot and I'm gonna walk upstream to this other gravel bar and dig around and see if we can't find a couple ammonites. Wow, those are getting taller and taller. So up to my chest. All right, this is Cottonmouth Alley. Well, we made it through Cottonmouth Alley. Oh, I'm gonna show you something, and I noticed this. We'll save that one. This is pretty neat looking. Let's get down in here. Oh man, wow, that is so awesome. That side looks so cool. This. Look at that detail, wow, man. Never seen him with the, such a point like that. Just imagine digging in this, you know, two, three feet down. There's no telling what you're gonna find. Maybe the bigger ammonites are at the bottom because they're heavy. So they went straight to the bottom. You know, I'm talking the big ones like the size of a car tire and bigger. You know, that's gonna be some weight like couple hundred pounds they're gonna be down below all of this maybe during the winter I can make it out here and do some digging it's just too hot for that oh this is terrible look how nasty it's getting You know, since the water level has dropped some more, I may be able to walk up a little bit and check out these gravel bars that I haven't been up to in almost a year. That's some shallow water. I bet we'll find an ammonite over here because um, it's now exposing more. Noticing some pretty cool stuff over here. And like right here's a trace fossil with some really good detail. That's almost small enough where I could ship it out to one of my Patreons. There's a banana. 
I'm actually looking for small ammonites. Today's just a quick video. Just try to gather some small ones like this. Yes, <laughs> right there. Woohoo! Yeah, that's it. That's what we want. That's something that could go to my element and gemstone collectors. Just a little big. That's about the max size I like to ship out. All right, we did it. <laughs> Woo! This side's got some detail as well. Knock all that mud off. A little heavy. Maybe I can hit it with my hammer and knock that off. I didn't bring the wagon today. I just want to gather a couple small ones, a little smaller than that. Call it a trip. Oh, that was awesome. We found a small little ammonite. Over here, there's a really big ammonite. Let's go over here and check this one out. I got good news. My truck's going in the body shop monday oh my god so once my truck is fixed i'll be able to take more adventures the front end smashed oh you got a little ammonite there look at the size of this thing double sided oh my gosh look at that and that is i may have to carry that one by hand oh right here right here oh man that's in the mud get my hammer after that one I brought my hammer. All right, we're seeing some amazing stuff just on this gravel bar. And I'm gonna to try to walk up to these other two, see what we can find and see what we can find in the water. But wow, look at these trace fossils over here. Amazing detail. And this one here as well. Golly, look at that one. It's incredible. Oh, this is kind of weird looking. What the heck is this? What in the world? Huh. That's kind of weird. Made it to the next gravel bar. Starting to see some signs of ammonites like this. Nice imprint. And of course, a banana right here. Just split. Looks like we have an ammonite right here. Oh yeah. Oh, and it's bro. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. That's what these normally do. They just pop right off of that mud. And look at that one. Huge ammonite. Woo! Check that one out. Look at the detail on this one, man. That's a fun day. That's awesome. We put that right there. See, the other side is not so good, but this side has amazing detail. Well, I've been on a safety meeting now for quite a while, walking around, found this, and I noticed that. And I noticed this. I was just kind of zoning out on this gravel layer, and that's when I saw it. Do you see it? Yeah, we're gonna have some fun right here. Oh, it's got a huge crack already. You know, it's already cracked and broke. So I'm gonna try my best to get it out in one piece. Safety's on. Oh, wow, look at the detail on this thing. Sucks that it's already cracked. turns out it's stuck in this mud over here and I don't have the hammer drill it's cracked we have to leave it here oh I don't feel so good guys I'm in the shade right now I'm gonna take a good break before I get out of here it's really hot the stuff I've been going through it just makes it harder so this is what I this is my job I'm now a full-time miner prospector fossil collector you know, I, I need to sell this stuff now. As it turns out, I will keep having giveaways as much as I can, but a lot of the stuff is now gonna go try to sell a lot of the stuff. I'm in the shade, made it in some really good shade. It's starting to feel a lot better. I was starting to get dizzy. My ear started to like ring and that's probably not a good sign. 
But in the shade, just in this little spot, I gathered all of this. And check out this small piece of trace fossil. Let's get this video up to 1,000 likes within one day of being uploaded. And one of you will win this awesome trace fossil with amazing detail from Ammonite Creek. And I'll also add this Ammonite. That would make a good Ammonite to practice prepping. This mud should come off really easy. It's got a crack, but you know, super glue. I try to get this video up to 1,000 likes within one day of being uploaded. One of you will own these by just leaving a comment, subscribing, like the video, share it out, be my friend, comment on my everything. Let's take a look at everything that I saved. Not much. I was out there maybe 30 minutes, and this is what I decided to keep. Let's start off with this beautiful ammonite. Wow, I thought it was broken. Just a piece of one, but it turned out to be a full ammonite. Can't believe it. We have this one here. One of you will own. We get this video up to 1,000 likes within one day of being uploaded. And the trace fossil that will also be included in the giveaways. I'll be sending these to my Patreons. That's gonna wrap it up here at Ammonite Creek. We found some amazing fossils. I got really hot in the sun and it's just too hot out here. I probably won't be back to digging all of this gravel bar. There's gotta be some big fossils in there. I'm gonna wait for it to cool off. But once it cools off, we'll be back out here finding fossils, having amazing giveaways. Once again, thank you all so much for watching the video. Until next time, take care everybody.